So again, welcome to our St. Peregrine Healing Mass, our monthly celebration of healing. We pray every day. Is that correct? Okay. The question is, what is the content of your prayers? How do we pray? Or we take for granted because we pray every day. We become so relaxed because we pray every day. But did we ask a question to ourselves, what is the content or what are the contents of my prayers? Is the content of my prayers pleasing to God or it only pleased myself? We see in the Gospel of today, the two particular persons, one, a Pharisee, and the other, a tax collector. What is the content of the prayer of the Pharisee? Self-praise. Well, he, he prays himself. He boasts himself in front of God. And the worst is, he compared himself to others to justify that he is right in front of God. He pinpoints his finger to the person in the temple. And that person is the second character of the story. Who is that? The tax collector. The Pharisee prayed very long because, of course, he justified himself. His virtues. And the tax collector, a simple prayer. What is a simple prayer of the tax collector? Lord, have mercy, I am a sinner. But the tax collectors, he so verbose, he, a lot of, he, he gave a lot of words to the Lord. And according to the gospel, there is only one has been justified that is pleasing to God. And who is that? The tax collector. Maybe you would ask, how? How come? We have the Pharisee. He lived in a rightful way. He lived in a virtuous life. Yet, the tax collector went home, is the one has been justified and his prayers has been please, pleasing to God. If you dig out again on the gospel, on the first reading this Sunday, what Samuel said, God doesn't look on appearances, but God sees our hearts. The same also in the gospel of today. God Sees the heart of the tax collector. Yes, he is the tax collector, a sinner, a public sinner. Yet he went to God so that his sins will be forgiven. Now we go back again to the question. What is the content of our prayers? Is our prayers pleasing to God or it only pleases us? St. Peregrine is a sinner before he become a saint. He ridiculed the church. He raised his hand against the church. He wants to destroy the church. But at the end, because of God's forgiveness, he changed his ways. Just like the tax collector, because of God's forgiveness, the tax collector changed his way of life. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, 
this must be our attitude. That because of God's forgiveness, we hope that we will change our ways and we go home justified. When we attend the Mass, when we attend the Holy Eucharist, when we go home, what do we feel? Justified? Satisfied? Or just only to fulfill our obligations? Now, go back again to the question. What is the content or the intentions of our prayers? Is it pleasing to God? Or it only pleases us? The question now is yours. It's up to you to answer it. Amen.